You see, Jesus is saying, be hopeful. Don't look at the world and judge what God could do by how sinful the world is. You go into the world with the gospel and with this mission, and you pray that God will use you, and every day of your life you'll get this world one step closer to its complete conversion. That's the way I live. I live, and I pray, Lord, help me to do something this week. Talk to somebody on the telephone. See somebody at a uh, restaurant that I can say as much of the truth to as I possibly can and get us one step closer to the conversion of the world. You'd be surprised at people I saw in restaurants this week. I mean, it's amazing the providence of God. One man was an Irishman. Boy, did he ever have a great Irish accent. And so I was able, we were able to witness to him. And then uh, the other night walked in this snow white haired old man and sat down. We could hear it out of the, our, it, they were behind us. We could hear their, he had an English accent and they were talking about things in Edinburgh, Scotland. So Becky goes over and starts talking to him, finds out he's an ordained Episcopal preacher and uh, uh, in, lived in Scotland. And I said, you know, one of my favorite preachers was an Episcopal, a Scottish Episcopal preacher by the name of Robert Layton. He said, you know Robert Layton? I said, yeah, he wrote a great commentary on First Peter. He said, well, I'm a member of the Robert Layton Society. So we got to witness to this Scottish Episcopalian and get us one step closer. One step closer. Don't despise the days of small beginnings. Don't worry about how evil and confused the world is and its hostility toward God. It's no match for the saving grace of Almighty God.